Hi everyone, uh, my name is Holly. I'm one of the AmeriCorps members at Severson Dells Nature Center. When the center is open, I am doing all sorts of education programs um, with school field trips and Boys and Girls Club and so much more. But since the center is closed right now, I figured it would be fun to make some craft videos for you guys to follow along with. Um, today we are going to make an Earth Day garland, so something that you can hang up in your house, in your bedroom, outside your door, something like that, um, that will show you're using some materials that you have found around your house, um, some things that you can recycle, and we're going to have a lot of fun. So today you're going to need some paint brushes. Um, big ones work really well. I probably won't use these small ones, but it's good to have them around anyway. You can use a hole punch um, or something that can make a small hole in um, a piece of paper. Some basic yarn, twine, something like that. Some scissors, super easy. Um, I have a newspaper, we're gonna paint on the newspaper. So that leads me to have paint. I have acrylic paints um, and we're gonna use primarily blue and green um, and maybe some yellow in there too. And then I also have um, blue and green construction paper just for fun. So this is a project that is really your stylistic approach. Um, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it, but you can take it a, in a completely different way um, which is also really fun. So we all might end up with different garlands, which is really cool. So let's get started. All right, so to make our garland, what we're doing is we're making a bunch of shapes um, to string along a yarn, um, something like this. Um, and you're gonna hang that around your house or outside your door or wherever that may be. Um, so what we want are some circles. Um, this is going to be like the earth. What you can do is you can put your hand on a piece of paper and you can trace that um, and cut that out. You can do stars. You can really do whatever you want. Um, for the sake of the video, I'm going to start with this circle and just kind of show you the whole process. So once you have all of your shapes, what you can do is do a hole punch or so. So you're gonna just, just near whichever you decide is the top. And I would do two, kind of even, just super easy. If you don't have a hole punch, then you can use something, perhaps you can use um, the tip of a pencil and poke it a little bit, maybe the end of your uh, paintbrush, just kind of poke it through. Um, so now we have our, poked holes and what you're going to do you want some paint now to have a little like uh I'm going to put my paint here on a, another piece of paper you could put it on whatever you want if you have a paper plate or something that you want to use and that's also fine so I've got some blues a green and a yellow just some acrylic paint and I'm just gonna make a little dab here and a little dab there and we'll start with that so what you're gonna do is really just kind of if you think about the earth think about all that green space such as America, North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, all the different continents. And you can just kind of paint little continents all around your paper. They don't have to be exact, or if you want to try to look at a map or a globe and see what the continent looks like, you can. I'm just gonna make my own little continents like this is my earth that i'm designing here and there's gonna be one up here just like that and then i can take another one and use the blue or i can use the same one and kind of make the oceans around your paper now it's helpful to have something underneath so you don't paint on your table, 
but so you guys can see it here um, on the camera. I'm not going to do that and I'll just be careful um, because I would have put newspaper on newspaper and that might not have been able to be seen very well. So I'm just going to paint and it can be super rough or super detailed. It's really up to you and everyone's going to have a different garland and that's the beauty of it. But they're all going to look a little bit different. Now I'm going to do one of these for you guys but you will probably do, you'll do multiple. So they all might look different. You might try to make them all look the same. It's really up to you. But this is gonna represent the earth. And this is a great project to do for Earth Day, to celebrate, take a little time to maybe reuse some of this newspaper that you might have lying around and celebrate a little bit. So while this dries, just gonna put it up and you can kind of do the next step. You're gonna wanna do a bunch of these and you might do a handprint, you might do a star, you might do a heart, all sorts of different things. You might use a construction paper. Maybe I'll cut a little, I'll cut a quick heart for you now a quick, tip is you fold it and along the side where you folded it, you cut half of the shape. And when you open it, it's the full shape. So same thing, I'm going to put two little poke holes in this and it's great so now we have our two you're going to probably have a bunch of them which is great you can make it as long as you want but you're going to cut some string just like that then you'll have your string and what you're going to want to do is put it through one hole Pull a little bit and then through the next. I have a little bit of paint on my thumb so it's getting on my string but that's all right. And same thing here. And you'll just pull it and you can add a bunch onto your string because then when you lift it gonna hang just like this and if you put it through the back like this one to stabilize it if you want you can use a little tape I'm not going to I think it'll stay just fine if it's through the front um, you could tape that too you could do something else you can just leave it be I'm just gonna leave it I think it'll stay even if it hangs like this because it would hang from one piece I would tie this into a little knot So you can take this little hook and hook it onto something. Maybe if you have one of those command strips lying around, you could use that. But you would do that to both sides and you can hang it up on your wall. All right, well, we finished our project. Here's my Earth Day garland. Um, I added another one here for you guys just to complete the look. Um, this is mine. I'm sure I'll make another one to a bit longer. Um, you could have this 10 times as long or just this long or even shorter. It's really up to you. All of ours are going to look different and that's the beauty of it. I think I'm going to hang mine in the window for other people to see um, as well. So that's another option. Now, since we're making this for Earth Day and for Earth Week, I just want to encourage you guys to get out into nature, to explore, pick up garbage if you see it, um, learn more about recycling, reusing, reducing, um, all sorts of things that can help keep our planet a little bit cleaner, a little bit safer for all of us. Now, it's up to us to keep it that way and to make sure it is that way. And I'm glad that you guys are doing this craft and reusing some of the materials that you have around. 
I'm sure you probably already have things like paint and newspaper and um, string. You don't even have to go and get anything. So that's the beauty of this project is to just really celebrate Earth Day and Earth Week, keeping Earth in our hearts and minds throughout the time, um, and as well as every day of the year. It's very important that we are all here and that we're all keeping it safe, healthy, and sustainable. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.